These are some of the reasons why your inverter, your inverter may be shutting down. Reason number one is overload. All inverters have their maximum rated capacity. That is the maximum amount of power those inverter, the inverter can run. The, the maximum amount of loads those inverter, uh, the inverter can power. So once you exceed its maximum rated uh, capacity, the inverter will start shutting down because you are overstressing it and you are, you know, forcing it to, to uh, work more than it should uh, work to perform the tax that uh, is higher or greater than its capacity. So, for example, if you have a 1,000 watt inverter and you are applying, you know, uh, 1,500 uh, watts of load or even 1,100, that inverter will be shutting down anyhow. Now, if your load, you have load of uh, 1,000, and you want to know the size, the appropriate size of inverter that will power this 1,000 watts load. Just divide this 1,000 by 0 0.8. So whatever value you have is the size of inverter you need to power, you know, your loads of uh, 1,000 watts. So overloading an inverter can make that inverter to shut down. And when you continue doing it, it can destroy the internal circuits of that inverter because you're stressing it you're over stressing the inverter you want it to power uh, the loads that are higher or greater than its rated capacity so always design your inverter such that it will be able to power your loads conveniently comfortably without stressing it without over stressing the inverter because if you do that you will you know make the inverter to you know start shutting down and that can dis uh, disturb the operation the smooth operation of the solar system so always know how to properly size your inverter so that it will be able to power your load so after calculating all your loads like this example all your your loads um, in the building in the house and you have a total load capacity of 1000 watts divided by 0 0.8 to give you the you know size of inverter that you need uh, to power this load then number two is overheating now when uh, all uh, almost all modern inverters they have a cooling system they have a fan installed in that inverter such that once that inverter is overheating it's sensing high temperature that fan you know will come on and it will start cooling the uh, internal system of the inverter so when this fan the internal fan breaks down you know you'll be having the inverter will be having excessive heat and overheating can make an inverter to shut down so always check the fan of the inverter whether it is still working at times it will be stuck by dust you need to dust the the fan and make sure that fan is still in good condition if it is not working you need to replace that fan because the essence of the fan in the inverter is to cool the inverter once the inverter is sensing uh, over uh, you know sensing high temperature overheating the, that fan is supposed to on so that it will cool the, the the system cool the internal circuitry of the, the internal circuit of that inverter so the absence of that fan or the failure of the fan to function properly will make that inverter to start shutting down why the inverter is sensing or um, high temperature is sensing overheating and most times you see it written on the uh, lcd board of that inverter you see it written there that uh, you see overheating and you see the signs the indicator that that inverter is overheated and if that happens the inverter will be shutting down so always make sure you uh, that inverter your inverter is not overheating because of the absence of your uh, fan or the failure of the fan to cool the inverter then number two is number three is low battery voltage all inverters also have what uh, have what we call lvd low voltage disconnect so once the inverter senses that the voltage the input voltage from your battery bank is low it has reached that low voltage the lvd voltage that inverter will definitely 
shut down because it is not receiving the uh, the required voltage for it to operate efficiently. At times, some uh, invert uh, 12 volt inverters they may have LVD of uh, almost down to you know 10 volts, some 11.5 volts. So once that inverter, the battery bank, your 12 volt battery bank gets to 11.5 volts, the inverter will shut down. And at times this happens when you have a bad batteries in your series connection. For example, you have uh, one, two, let's say two batteries, positive, negative, positive, negative. Then one of them you're having, uh, let's say this is a 24 volt, uh, 24 volt system. Now this battery here is reading 12 volts, whereas this one is reading 10 volts. It means this battery here is bad or is undercharged, is not charging efficiently. So it is always below this one. At times this one may be 12.7 volts, whereas this one is 10 volts or 11.5 volts. So this battery here will be dragging down the voltage of the battery bank. So the inverter will be sensing the voltage of this uh, bad battery. So once this battery, the voltage gets to 10 volts, whereas this one is still a good battery, and the voltage is still high, at times 12.5 volts, 12.6 volts. But the inverter is sensing that the battery bank is low. Why? Because of a bad battery in your series connection. So the inverter will be shutting down. Why? Because it is detecting low battery uh, voltage in your battery bank. So when the LVD, the low voltage disconnect of that inverter, of the battery bank, gets to the set LVD of the inverter, the inverter will definitely shut down. So you need to check the individual voltage. Use your multimeter. Once, uh, when you connect loads to the inverter, the inverter is running. Use your multimeter and check the individual voltage of the battery bank to see the battery that is dragging other batteries down in that battery bank. You may discover that one of the battery, the voltage is very low. At times, it may be, even be reading 9 volt or 8 volt. And other batteries, their uh, voltage is still high. So use your multimeter and check them individually to be sure that the battery bank uh, voltage is correct. Then another one is short circuit. Short circuit. This mostly happens in your AC outlet. So uh, at times in your house, you may have a short circuit in the building. You may have a short circuit in between the inverter and your uh, distribution uh, panel, that's your DB, your distribution board, or you may have a short circuit around the wiring system of the building or where you are using that, what you are using that inverter to power. So if the inverter is sensing short circuit, short circuit, the inverter will be shutting down. It will be shutting down. At times, the breaker of that building may be bad. It may be faulty. If you connect the inverter to that uh, faulty breaker, uh, the inverter will be sensing overload. You'll be seeing it as if that uh, the, uh, an, uh, a heavy load is applied to it. Whereas you didn't connect a water pump or a deep freezer or an air conditioner to that inverter. But you are seeing overload reading in that inverter. At times you need to check uh, the, the, the circuit breaker of that building or the fuse, the distribution box. Check everything in the building to make sure that there is no short circuit. Because most times, if there is, uh, there is short circuit, the inverter will be detecting overload. And once it is sensing overload, you are seeing overload, it will be shutting down. No matter how you, uh, the number of times you keep on owning it, it will be shutting down. So always make sure that there is no short circuit in that building. There is no short circuit between your inverter AC output and your distribution you know, network uh, box where your distribution uh, distributing the AC power to your uh, different loads, you know, different buildings, different apartments, always make sure that you know, the, the circuit is okay and there's no short circuit. Then number five is undersized cable. This always happen uh, in between um, the inverter and the battery bank. The cables you connect uh, from your battery bank to the DC input of the inverter. If the battery, if the cables are undersized, the inverter will always be shutting down. Why? If you connect loads to that inverter, the current that is running through those cables, the cables cannot withstand that uh, uh, current. They will become hot. And the inverter will be sensing that and it will keep on shutting down. Why? 
because the cables are undersized. So in designing or sizing a solar power system, all components that you're using in that solar system must be properly sized. They must be sized according to, you know, uh, the, according to what you are using them for and the load you are using them to power. If you're sizing your solar panels, you should size the solar panels in such a way that they will be able to generate the amount of energy that will be uh, used to recharge your battery to 100% state of charge every day. Size your battery bank in such a way that your battery bank will be able to power your loads when there is no sunlight. They will, the battery bank will be able to sustain your loads throughout the night till the next day when you have uh, sunshine. Then if you are sizing your charge controller, you should size your charge controller such that the charge controller will be able to efficiently charge the battery bank. Then your cables should be able to withstand the amount of current that will be flowing through them. Your breakers and all your DC and AC disconnects, all of them should be properly sized. Your inverter should be sized in such a way that it will be able to withstand all the loads that you'll be connecting to that inverter. If you are not able to properly size any of the components in your solar power system, you will be having challenges. The solar system will always be failing because one of the components in that solar system is not properly sized. At times, you may have default uh, uh, components. Some of them may be bad. So you should be able to troubleshoot your system to find out the components that is bad so that you can replace it or you, you know, uh, uh, work on it. So these are some of the few uh, reasons why your inverter, your solar inverter, may be shutting down. Overload, overheating, low battery uh, voltage from your battery bank, short circuit, you know, around the building you're connecting the inverter to, and undersized cables, mostly between the battery bank and the inverter. Thank you for watching. If you need uh, my PDF on how to size uh, steps on how to size a solar power system, you can click the link on the description of this video, you know, to download. It is not free. You pay a little amount of money to support and encourage my work. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.